Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Listen, can you hear that? That is my academic achievement. It's silence, bitch. Look at me, I'm ready to go to bed. My hair was growing, my beard is not shaving, I'm ready to sleep. But why have I just realized I am so behind? You know, I'm not even behind you guys, man. I'm just like, this is Cambridge for you. You've got essays, you've got assignments to do, and even though you think you're on point, you are never on game with your work. So right now, I've got a psychology essay to do, a education essay to do, and two statistics assessment worksheets to do. I'm doing an all-nighter. And everybody wants to study with me? Okay, bitch, here's your study with me, all-nighter edition, looking like crap. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay guys, let's get serious. I am here. I'm in the Wolfson Cottage University of Cambridge Library and this part is like the, I don't know bitch, the f***ing laptop department, I don't f***ing know. It's 10 p.m., some people have just left. I'm assuming people are gonna come in and study as well because this is the time that everyone studies at night, you know, these Cambridge students. In the morning, they're selling drugs and promoting institutional racism. Ha <laughs> joke bitch. Okay, so what do we need? Firstly, my laptop bitch, it's here uploading a video on YouTube, but it's also where my essay drafts are. Okay, next is my pencil case because, bitch, how are you gonna do your work without no pencil case? And also, the main thing you're gonna need to survive your all-nighter is, guess what? Water. And I have my name a freaking Robinson's bottle because yes, bitch, who has time to be buying water bottles? I ain't got no money for that, so. You need to stay hydrated. That's This is the main thing. I've done a lot of all-nighters, especially working at Master Spencer, so I know how to do this shit. Hydration is the first thing, and also food is the same thing. I just ate dinner before I came, so let's just say it's 10 a.m. I just had breakfast. I'm gonna have another snack at maybe like 2 a.m. or 2 p.m., which is gonna be like a lunch. And then whatever time I finish, if it's 6 p.m., I'll go back and have dinner. But I'll go home and sleep too, not to be good with that. I do have some snacks in my bag. Come on, Mr. Kipling. Come on, Club. Come on, Halal Haribos. Come on, Diabetes Tattoo, like my mom. I know some people have coffee and some people have, like, Pro Plus. When I was 17, 18, doing eight of us, I had Pro Plus when I did my all-nighters, but, like, just don't put no shit in your body. Like, even sugar's a bit much. Just have your water, lots of cold water, and let's just get into it. I do need to tie my hair. Because it's night time, and I don't want my hair to go on my skin and give me acne scarring, so. Okay, so I have an essay, and the title is, Explain and Describe How Response and Reasoning Tasks Are Highly Sensitive to the Framing of the Task and the Participant's Background Belief. Okay, so. How do I jump out of this building and die? How the f do you do that, bitch? I don't f know how to do that. What the f But how I do my essays is I do a first draft, a second draft, and a third draft. The first draft is where I write everything. The second draft is when I make it nice and tidy. The third draft is when I do referencing and stuff like that. But firstly, I'm going to just get my lecture notes and highlight anything that is remotely relatable to this topic. How do I get my lecture notes? Let me show you, Mitch. So this is the internet. If you guys haven't seen this before, it's really good. I'd recommend you get it. Um, you have to pay me £10 and you have to buy my mugs and you get it automatically. So you go on Google, even though I'm on Bing. Good find stuff on Bing, bitch. Okay, bye. What the hell is this dinosaur crap? Anyways, so you want to go to, it's called Moodle. That's our virtual learning environment, Moodle VLE, Cambridge. So you don't even Moodle, you know. I don't take you seriously, Cambridge, because your VLE is named after a cow, Moo. You click on this, and then, okay, this. You go to log into Moodle, and okay. Then this is mine's already logged in through Raven. I don't know why my name is Ibrahim Ibrahim. I don't know what type of plagiarism and fraud they're doing and racism, but anyways. Then you pick, these are your papers. So, for example, I'm doing an education paper. That's that folder. There's sociology too. I don't know why they think I'm doing sociology. I'm not. 
then there's like PBS Tripos part one and part two but basically because the paper I'm doing is a natural science and a psychology paper it's in this folder which is called natural science experimental psychology don't even let's not even get into it this is what it, uh, by the way this is Cambridge you know I was proper experience I, I probably thought we were going to get some like pop out 3D lecture slides, lecture videos, it's just the basic shit. Course information, lectures, all this stuff. Lectures we'll click on. Okay, what's this weird blur? And then scrolling down to the topic which is reasoning and decision making. Pick the, whatever the fuck this is, I don't know what this is, the notes. And also the lecture, and I said lecture two by the way bitch. And now I'm gonna print it off. Is this boring? I think this is so boring. I'm sorry. But this is my studying. Like the video, please. So I'm trying to print off, but I just realised that I have to top up my allowance. It's 5p per page. Um, by the way, I do have a printer at my home, but that's one of the reasons why I came to the library, because basically I lost my wire, then let's not get into it. So I prefer, and I, rec I recommend you buy a printer when you go to uni, because you save so much money. But for the sake of it, I have to top up and pay 5p per page and our slides are so long as well. Where's my wallet? Bitch! Where's my wallet? Okay, ho. I'll stab the ghost. Who the fuck? There's a ghost. There's a gin. There's a gin here. Where the fuck is wrong with it? What the hell is happening? Oh. Oh my god, a gin stole my wallet. Oh. Bitch, the camera's on the wallet. I'm a blind ass look. Because I didn't want it to freaking. Bitch, my shit is printing. Hey guys, it's me, Voice Over Ips. So basically, what I'm doing now is um, I am just going over my lecture notes with my highlighter and my red pen. This is what I gotta do so I can start brainstorming some ideas. The lectures do PowerPoints, but sometimes they're just evil and they don't. They just do shit PowerPoints. But usually they have some reading that you can just read ahead. They have some studies and references. So it basically, the lectures are there to like brainstorm you and make you think more. Can I just say that this isn't the best side of my face? It's the front with better lighting and I've shaved. So don't judge my appearance just based on this thing, please. Okay, bye now. Okay, come through disclaimer. But anyways, oh my god, is that my face when I eat? It's so ugly. What, bitch, why can't you close your mouth? What are you looking for? Some fucking flies to go in? Come on, my YouTube fries. So now what I'm doing is just going over my lecture notes on the computer. So I have that PowerPoint slides. Then there's also additional notes, like reading notes, that they want you to make note of. So I'm just doing that. And then I type out my draft. You can already see on my laptop there's like a bit of thing going on. And that is it. Okay, who the fuck is calling me now? Bye. Really? Really? I am studying. What do you want? It's just to see what you're doing. I'm studying because I've got so much work to do. It's now 2 a.m. I am absolutely shattered, um, but I'm just gonna pull through. Only a couple more hours to go. I've done all of my lecture notes. I'm now gonna just try to put it in the essay, but I it's really hard. Like it's a really really hard essay, so I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to do it. But I'm just gonna try and mold all the knowledge I have, put it on this essay and try and feed it to the question it's really fucking hard like i'm actually this is the hardest essay i've done since the beginning of cambridge um but it's two o'clock and i deserve a break so i've been having a little toilet break a water break now i'm gonna have like a good 20 to 30 minute break if it wasn't dark and if it wasn't gins and it wasn't satans and there wasn't the shit that i'm all ghosts around i would walk around and get some fresh air but i'm really scared to leave this room that i will get kidnapped and die by the demons underneath the library so I'm just gonna stay here and watch Love and Hip Hop and then I'll get back to studying. Okay, so it's three o'clock. I'm still just reading and writing and reading and writing. It doesn't look fun. This is the thing when you do essays in Cambridge as opposed to like 
worksheets is you feel like you're not getting anything done um, because you're, you're just writing and writing and writing and it usually takes two two days to do an essay in Cambridge. I'm literally doing it in one night because I'm a mess. Um, but I am just drinking, drinking, drinking lots of water and I'm just pulling through. I'm kind of tired though. Um, but I think, is someone calling me? So he locked himself out, he's come to the library. I've just called the porters to let you in. Can I just say, Ipsmo is the man of the hour. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, bye now. Yeah. You stupid, drunk tramp. <laughs> no, I do love him. Okay guys, so it's now four o'clock. Um, I've done quite a bit for the essay with the psychology one for PBS4, but I think I'm now gonna push it to the side. It's for a supervision and my supervision is on Wednesday, so I have a bit more time to do it. It's just because the concepts were so hard, like I wanted to get an early start to it. So I've had an early start to it, I'm gonna revise it or go back to it, like maybe on Monday. But what I didn't realize is that I also have a education essay that was do like that was due today that's due on Sunday and it's 2,000 words and my supervision for that is on Tuesday so basically how it works is we do an essay a deadline by Sunday and then it gets marked and we get feedback on the Tuesday so I'm going to do that now and the question is through a discussion of international development paradigms critically examine the normative expectations placed on children and placed on the young people okay so where is the fire exit so that's the question and it looks really, really hard. The reading list is here as well. So I'm just gonna go get some books for it upstairs and I'm just gonna find some online as well. I'm really tired, I need some water. The Wolfson College, University of Cambridge Library. Oh, come on, come on globe. Yes, can we do like a dance? Tonight I'm gonna dance. Oh, oh, okay, this is shaking and I've just broken it. So I'm here at the library and it is 24 hours. Um, you do need a car to get in. There's three rooms. So there's the left room. Then there's the basic, basic room, which has nothing in there. I don't know if you guys want to see. Someone in here. No. That's me, by the way. And then they have a little tea space, a little... Or we'll still one of them, so why not? And then downstairs they have, I don't know what they have, a toilet and the fountain. Then you come up these stairs. Come on, Fenty. Hello, white man who founded everything and colonized my family. Main part, and this is where I'm gonna get the books. Okay guys, voice of it is back. Right now I'm just trying to find a book from the library. Need to find its ID number online, then write it down, then put it up on iDiscover, which is our online catalogue for books. Unfortunately, this library did not have it today. Nine grand well spent. Okay, so it's 5.30 and I just wanted a bit of fresh air. You can see that it's already getting light outside. Come on, Wolfson Library. It is actually buff. Okay, so here's the thing that I hate about the education department, right? So they've given us these texts, readings to do, and they're not available at Wolfson. They're only available in the education faculty. But they have them online, which is good. I'm quite surprised that for a department that's very interesting that they actually have things online. So I'm going to print them off, and then I'm going to go through them, and then we're going to call it a night. Okay guys, so I've done the lectures, I've done the summer reading, I've printed it all off. But yeah, it's morning now and I'm absolutely knackered, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna back up and go. Okay guys, so thank you for watching this week's video. You know, no one, I don't think anyone will remember this, but I'm sitting in the place where I ended my first week in the life of a Babbage University Cambridge student. If you haven't watched that, please watch that. It's linked up there or down below. But anyways, yeah, I'm done for today. Um, I didn't, I don't think I would do another study with me because I just don't think that they're as useful. And I don't know if you guys learned anything. I did get quite a bit done myself. I just thought it was a bit useless. Comment down below if you want me to do more. I generally don't know. And leave a couple of lights because I'm kind of tired. But yeah, that is how you do an all-nighter. Look at all the light. 
that is how you do it my main tips is to drink lots of water i think i had like two of these my guy is still going you know i've had two of these whole bottles and make sure you have proper meals because i've been here from 10 p.m to 6 20 a.m or 10 a.m to 6 p.m and when you look at it like that you need to eat but apart from that guys that is it from today's video goodbye wolfson library bitch let's go sleep so this part of the library is the top part and basically, I don't come here because I used to come here when I had my exams last year and I feel like I've got anxiety associated with it. Oh my god, guys, I can hear something. Oh my god, what's that sound? Oh my god. Who's there? Rita Aura, is that you?